In this short presentation, we're going to take a look at Avoca SmartForm Composer for Adobe Lifecycle. Composer is a web-based hosted application that is designed to allow a wide spectrum of users, including non-technical users, to quickly build a PDF SmartForm that looks great, functions perfectly, and completely conforms to your organizational style guide. If you're new to PDF SmartForms, there's a great presentation on our website demonstrating the functionality and benefits you can achieve with SmartForms. Composer is a zero-install, browser-based hosted application providing a full Web 2.0 experience. So I just point my browser at Composer, log in, and I'm presented with a Flex application that allows me to very quickly start building my forms. As you can see, I'm a member of the demo organization, which has a number of projects, uh, each of which has a number of forms in them. I'm going to go into the Form Group 1 project and begin by creating a brand new form. I'm going to call the form change of address and I'm going to skip the description for now. Um, I then get to select from a large number of different standard templates which govern the overall look and feel of my form. There is a more detailed demonstration on our site of different types of templates. Um, I'm going to just choose the standard form template for now. I then get to choose from a number of standard style sheets. Style sheets govern things like colors, fonts, and uh, other aspects of the layout. Um, I'm going to select the standard blue template. And then I'm going to select some information that appears on the headers and footers on my forms. Um, and I'm just going to leave most of them blank in the interest of speed. And I'm done. I now have a form that I can begin to edit. I can simply click on the open button to open the form and begin defining it. On the left hand side of the main editor window I have the structure of my form. In the middle I have a wireframe view which shows me a preview of what my form will look like. And on the right hand side I have a number of widgets and other objects that I can drop into my form. As you can see I already have a default section 1 and details uh, section which are actually types of sections and I'll just show you very quickly dropping in a new section level one into the top of my form. Another section. Um, and you can also optionally add section numbers and help text. We'll explain more about that in another presentation. It's given me a default section level two, but I may add another section level two. Drag and drop, by the way, can be formed um, either directly into the tree for accurate placement or, or straight onto the wireframe view. Uh, once I have all my sections, and you'll notice all the sections are perfectly styled according to my style guide, I can then start dropping in some widgets. And there are a wide variety of widgets available. I might start with a drop down list, a predefined one that has a list of titles. And I might then just drop a couple of text fields. Um, and that can be a little bit tedious, so Composer gives me the ability to uh, very quickly define things called blocks. And blocks can contain uh, both uh, a collection of fields, such as, in this case, address fields. Or, in fact, um, some of the other blocks can contain um, a logic and encapsulated uh, rules, as well as just the address field. You can see my address field has come in um, as I've previously defined it. Again, in the interest of time, I'm going to save that quick design and close it. And I'm going to move to another form that I built previously uh, that uses a different style sheet and template. Looks quite different and has quite a lot of more information built into it. You'll also notice that on the wireframe, it's only showing up on half the page. And this is because this particular template uses a two column layout and then the real PDF will scroll down across the columns. You'll notice that there is quite a lot of information that has been added very quickly, both textual uh, as well as form related. Um, and it goes uh, all the way down to the bottom of the page. What I'd like to do is very quickly preview this to show you what it looks like as a PDF. As you can see, this results in a beautifully styled uh, high definition uh, smart form PDF. 
with some baked in business logic, such as the ability to hide and show fields on demand, um, page navigation, um, different style of hide show logic where fields only display when the checkbox is selected. All of this done without any coding whatsoever. Um, um, lots of beautiful styling, numbering, and at the end, a nicely styled declaration statement. Now let's flick back to Composer and see a bit of the magic happen. What I'm going to do is change the form template and style sheet to give the form a different look and feel. So I'm going to go for a one column rather than two column look. And instead of the gray look, I'm going to choose a blue look. Let's just close that and reopen it. Composer completely takes care of all of the little details of resizing fields, relaying them out, changing background colors, and in this case, fonts as well, in various different places and for very various different colors, all governed by the set of style sheets. The form functionality, however, is exactly the same as I defined it previously. And again, if I click on preview, I get to see the high fidelity PDF version of that same form with all the same logic, all the same data collection fields. Um, so the same things that we'd seen elsewhere in the form, um, but with a completely different look and feel and styling. Moving back to Composer, I'd like to just give you a very quick overview of some of the other features that we've put into Composer that really make your life easier. Firstly, um, one of the things that we wanted to do is make sure that you could create very simple rules um, very easily. Um, and we also wanted to uh, cater for more complex rules. So there are both script-based and rule-based editors for defining visibility, editable rules, mandatory calculations, and validations. Um, we also wanted to make it very easy to lay out um, uh, fields in Smartform Composer and have it do all the hard work of getting everything lined up and aligned correctly for you. So very simply on the Layout tab, for example, on this Layout Manager, if I say Keep on save it, Same Line, you'll see that Composer relays out the first given name and second given name to appear on the same line, resizing the fields as it goes. We also wanted to ensure that you could be as productive as possible. So we allow you to edit many of the fields in the form using something called the Bulk Editor which allows you to edit things like the label and tooltip of every single field in a familiar spreadsheet-like environment, giving you a lot more power and flexibility. We also generate a number of files for you, for example, an XML seed file and an XML uh, schema that are based on the form. This means that you don't have to do them yourselves and, again, makes your life a lot easier. We centralize commenting and um, issue tracking within the Form Composer product itself so that you don't have to do that using external tools. Finally, you can publish your forms direct, directly to Lifecycle or to Avoca Form Center, which provides a full enterprise forms management capability. Form Center is a web self service solution designed to be able to engage customers, partners, employees, and field workers using electronic forms to initiate and participate in business processes. We thank you very much for viewing this brief presentation. There are a whole lot more demos on our site that give you drill down detail onto various areas that I've covered in this presentation, as well as a detailed FAQ or frequently asked questions. So please do review these. And we encourage you to sign up for our beta program if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much for watching.